Hello, did you know that as a channel we're actually branching out into new subjects? Well if you didn't, you should check out the latest video on the Dog A. James channel about Himmler and the Holy Grail. There you go, there's shameless plug over, bet you weren't expecting that, you know, Himmler and the Holy Grail, unless of course you've already seen the video, in which case you were probably very much expecting that. Um, did you know we actually record these, um, these intros after we record and edit the rest of the video? Just a bit of trivia for you there, not really sure what the point of hang on that doesn't look good. Starting off the news this week, international agencies such as the UK Met Office and NASA have confirmed that the decade ending in 2019 was the warmest since records began, with the Met Office's records dating back to 1850. 2019 was the second hottest year on record, with 2016 being the hottest, and the Met Office says that the next decade is likely to continue warming up, but that isn't surprising news by any means. While 2019 wasn't the hottest year for the planet, it was for some countries, like Australia, which saw 2019 being the hottest on record by nearly an entire degree, which is a very large amount in this context. Starting off this week's action-packed paleontology news is the description of a brand new genus and species of theropod from the Middle Jurassic of China, meet Yunyangosaurus purinensis. This new taxon is based on a fragmentary specimen, but it's complete enough to tell that it shares several features with megalosauroids, and as such it has been tentatively placed within the clade. However, the dinosaur also displays characteristics that aren't present in other megalosauroids or more derived titanoran theropods. The paleontologists therefore conclude that Yanyangosaurus seems to have possessed a mix of basal and more advanced characteristics, suggesting that the evolution of early titanoran groups was even more complex than we had realised. But that's not the only theropod news this week, as there's also been a new microraptorian dinosaur named recently. This is Wulong bohiensis, and it's known from a single, complete specimen preserved entirely on a single slab of rock. As it happens, this animal has actually been known about since 2014, when it was described as part of a paleontologist's master's thesis. However, only now has it been officially named in a paper. Wulong comes from the early Cretaceous and has been placed in the Microraptorinae clade. This individual has been found to have only been about one year old when it died, and this young age actually allows some very useful comparisons with other dromaeosaurs to be made, enabling the ages of individual specimens to be more easily worked out. The Wulong specimen also preserves several types of feathers, including pinaceous and filamentous ones, indicating that these grew before skeletal maturity was reached in some dromaeosaurs. And finally, we just couldn't resist the urge of reporting on the discovery of a new species of baleen whale. A skull originating from the late Miocene aged rocks in the southern North Sea Basin has been described and realised by paleontologists to represent a new species of the extinct Rorqual whale Archebaleen Optera, named Archebaleen Optera leosensis. This new species adds to the diversity of the genus, which is also known from species found in Italy as well as Peru. This new addition has led the researchers to conclude that the North Atlantic had a significant role in the origin of several Balaenopterid groups, including the more derived members of this lineage. That's it for this week of 7 Days of Science, next week is our 100th episode of 7 Days of Science, and as is tradition on 7 Days of Science, we will be doing absolutely nothing to celebrate this milestone. Oh, it's nice with the end of it. Yeah, I